Okay, exciting extruder update. New dies for the North Studio. Very fun, very cool options now. Tons of things you can do. One of the things to remember when you're using these blue dies is that they're slightly smaller than the stainless steel ones that you're used to. And they will fall through the extruder cap if you don't use this fun, handy dandy cardboard ring. So make sure to place the ring in first and then your die. One of the things that a lot of you have been asking for are just smaller handle dies. So we got a whole bunch of new handle die sizes. Um, as you can see, some of these have multiple holes, which, you know, you're welcome to use. It'll extrude everything you see. So all four of these size holes will be extruded. However, dun, 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 introducing the gasket selector. If you place your gasket selector on top of the die, it will block out the other shapes and only extrude the one that's exposed. So as you can see with this fun die, there's so many different shapes. Take your gasket selector, choose the one you want. Say you want a square or you want a ribbon and then place that whoop, into the extruder head to be extruded. So moving on, always using your ring with the blue dies. Here's some fat wide ribbons, sort of fettuccine style, lasagna style. And then you'll notice these, these are the tube extrusion dies. And you can tell cause they have these sort of Tron style lines coming into the center. So those lines are telling you to use the hollow center die extension. So I'll set this up for you so you can see what's going on here. Say I wanted a circular tube with a hexagon in the center. I would take my circular tube die and I would take my die extension and place it in the grooves. This hexagon in the center is then going to be the hollow middle of my circular tube. So when using this, make sure to use it in the correct orientation. It'll really only work one way, but let me show you how it works. Once again, remembering your ring, snap this into the grooves and extrude away. Very fun, very cool. These shapes with the holes in the middle, you can swap out for this internal shape right here just by loosening that nut. So say you wanted to do a bigger hexagon, loosen the nut, pull this one off, put this one on, tighten the nut, place it back in the die. So there it is, new dies, very fun. I'm gonna set it up once for you using the new die selector and the gasket. Let's say this one, I wanna use this one. Put my ring in, put my die in, this cap goes exactly like it used to on the old super duper extruder. And as you can tell, this has some play. So just make sure that it's lined up. Place your cotter pins in the side and you're good to go. I'm sure I forgot something, but that's it for now. Thank you.